we've been using the Panoptix implant since September of 2019. And over that time, I've placed about 700 Panoptix lens implants. And the vast majority of these patients, probably over 99% of patients who receive the Panoptix, they're happy with their vision. But over the past year, we've gained enough experience and learned that not everybody is completely satisfied with the vision of the Panoptix implant. Although over 99% of patients seem to be highly satisfied, there's probably less than 1% or closer to one in every 150 patients that simply does not like the way they see through this lens. So let me share with you a case presentation of a patient who received the Panoptics lens implant and who was not happy with his visual result and how ultimately we chose to help him see better. This patient is a 55 year old gentleman who initially came to see us in June of 2020. He did not wear any glasses to see near or far, but could tell that he was not seeing as clearly as he wanted. His vision and refraction were as follows. On July 28th, 2020, he had laser lens replacement to his right eye where his natural lens was removed and a panoptics lens implant was placed into the right eye. On August 18th, 2020, his vision and refraction for the right eye were as follows. He was not happy with his vision. Specifically, he had negative dysphotopsia where he would see a shadow out to the side of his peripheral vision and he noted a glow around letters and images and he actually created an image to help me understand the shadow or glow around images that he was noticing. Now based on his examination his right eye looked perfect. Every aspect of his eye from front to back the tear film, the cornea, the lens, the capsule, the macula they all measured perfectly, yet he did not like his vision. So we asked him to wait and see if his symptoms would improve over time. We were hoping that he would narrow adapt to the vision through the panoptics lens. We waited two months. And during that time, he said, Doc, my symptoms are no better. They're the same. And I'm still very bothered with my vision. Although his objective vision after surgery was better than his preoperative vision, his subjective vision was intolerable. So after a long discussion, we decided to remove his panoptics lens and replace it with a symphony lens to hopefully alleviate him of his unwanted visual phenomena and give him better subjective long distance vision. We advised him that because he was receiving the symphony lens, his close up vision may not be as good or clear as it was with his panoptics lens implant. He understood our goal and elected to undergo intraocular lens exchange on October 12th, 2020. Here's the intraoperative view immediately prior to surgery. We placed topical lidocaine on the eye for anesthesia. This is a well-positioned and well-centered panoptics toric lens. We place OcuCoat into the anterior chamber. A Donenfeld flap lifter is used to elevate the anterior capsule from the anterior surface of the panoptics implant. Amvisc Plus is then used to visco dissect and visco expand the capsular bag. We then rotate the leading haptic out of the capsular bag equator, and then we rotate the trailing haptic out of the capsular bag. Micro forceps and micro scissors are used to bisect the panoptics implant in the anterior chamber, anterior to the anterior capsular leaflets. The two halves are removed through the 2.8 millimeter primary incision. The symphony toric lens implant is then inserted and placed into the capsular bag. We use the original biometry calculations to select the correct implant power for this symphony toric lens implant. Viscoelastic is then removed with the I and A handpiece. We rotate the IOL and remove early traces of posterior capsule lens cells that may lead to posterior capsule opacification in the future. At the conclusion of the case, the symphony torque is aligned properly 
and well-centered. We then see this patient the following day. You wore nothing for far, and you wore reading glasses. Isn't that right? That's your baseline? I, I've never worn glasses. The reason I came in originally was because I couldn't see my golf ball when I hit it. And, I mean, I, I sit in front of my computer all day. I'm a salesperson. Uh -huh. I sit in front of my computer all day. When I originally came in here, it wasn't because I couldn't see my computer. It's because I couldn't see my golf ball. That's why I originally came in here. Did you wear reading glasses at all? Uh, it would have to be a really dark small print for me not to for, for me to need reading glasses so no, the short answer is no i it was very rare for me to need reading glasses and you didn't wear any glasses for driving or anything no no prescription sunglasses no so august 28th you have the panoptics lens in your right eye and the day after surgery we check you what was your impression it, it felt wrong right from the beginning. I mean, I had this shadowing over here, like a halo or a half moon kind of thing going on the right side. And there was a glow around everything I would look at, letters or, or people. People would look blurry, letters would look like they were glowing. And it just felt wrong from the very beginning. It felt like I was in a tunnel right from the very beginning. And your vision was on by our testing. It was twenty twenty far away from your right eye without help, and you could read the smallest line on our on our reading card twenty twenty up close. Mm -hmm. And you had no prescription. You had no astigmatism. You were in perfect focus, and you could see better after the panoptics by our testing than you could see yes. prior to surgery. But. You didn't like it? Didn't something was wrong? Something didn't feel right with it. It just felt, um, it just didn't feel like it belonged there, right? It was like it, it was. Yes, I could I could see, uh, but if I shut this eye and, and just keep this eye open, the letters would glow around it. And if I look at it with both eyes, I mean, I could see very clearly, but it just didn't feel right. There was something different about it. Something wrong about it. And did it get better over time? Because we waited no. about two and a half months. It almost felt like it got worse. Okay. Uh, by, the, by the time I had redone my surgery, it, it felt like it was worse. And can you describe the glow for us? If I look at a, a letter on the screen, then it, it would be like there was a second set of letters behind it. And then the whole thing had a glow around it. And then you notice this crescent out to the side. Yes, on, on, it was on this side, on the outside. Um, light made it worse. If it was a light, a light environment, it would feel worse. Uh -huh. um, that, you, that got a little bit better over time, but it was still there even after two months. Right, and then so ultimately we said, hey, let's try to remove the panoptics, place a symphony, We'd never done that before, but the hope was that the glow around the letters would go away. You'd lose some close-up vision to gain better far vision because you wanted to see the golf ball. And by the way, did you try golfing during the two months where you had the panoptics in the right eye? Uh, <laughs> well, and the yes. And how I, was it? I won the club championship last weekend, <laughs> even though I couldn't freaking see. But oh. I, I still played great. So... It's kind of hard to say that it would, but it just, it, I, my eyesight was not good. And so you didn't like it. You just didn't I, like I, it. I didn't like it yeah. at all. So yeah, you knew, we, we advise you before we took out the panoptics, your reading vision would be a little worse and you might need reading glasses, but the objective was better quality of vision far away. And you accepted that trade off that, Hey, I might need readers. I don't need readers with the panoptics, mm -hmm. but I might need it with the symphony, right? That's what the expectation was. My nearsight could not be as good. Yeah. Um, and I was willing to try that because the, the, the panoptic lens just didn't, it didn't feel right. I just, I just, the quality of my life would not be good if I kept that lens in my eye. Okay. So yesterday we did the lens exchange. We removed the panoptics, yes. put in the symphony. And this is now 24 hours after that procedure. What did you notice this morning after waking up from your right eye? Um, it, it, it doesn't feel like there's anything in my eye. I mean, the panoptics lens, I felt like there was something in my eye. And now it, it, I, don't, I don't feel like there's something in my eye. 
I, def I definitely don't have the half crescent moon thing going on. And um, it, my eyesight's fine. I can read my phone. I can, I haven't sat in front of my computer yet. I haven't hit a golf ball yet, but I feel better. I already feel better. And the glow is not there? Uh, I, I, I'm not ready to say that yet, but it's, I mean, as I was watching the TV waiting in the waiting room, uh -huh. I would close one eye and I, I was looking and it, it looked, it looked better. The awesome. glow wasn't, it wasn't as nearly as bad. So I'm expecting that it's going to get even better. Awesome. Thank you very much. Um, anything else you'd like to say? Uh, my fingers are crossed. This is going to work. And then if it does, I'll go and do the other eye too. Okay. Thanks. Awesome. So in conclusion, the panoptics lens implant thus far has probably been the best performing presbyopia correcting lens implant that I've worked with in my 26 years of doing eye surgery. It's a really great lens, but nothing is perfect. There's no perfect lens implant. The panoptics is highly successful. Well over 99% of patients are highly satisfied with their vision, but every lens has the potential to cause unwanted side effects that cannot be prevented or predicted. Fortunately, the success rate for the panoptics is well over 99% in my experience. There are patients that may be unhappy with their vision with the panoptics or with any lens for that matter. Fortunately, we will work with these patients to help them find a solution to help them see better. For our patient Rob, removing the panoptics lens and replacing it with a symphony lens seemed to be the best solution to help him see better. Thank you for your time. I hope this video was helpful and have a wonderful day.